Mourners gather outside the Alexandrov Ensemble's headquarters in Moscow. 64 members of the Red Army Choir, including its director, were on board a Russian military plane when it crashed into the Black Sea. They are the official choir of the Russian Armed Forces, and according to the manifesto, a member of Putin's advisory Human Rights Council, known as Dr. Liza, was also one of the 92 people on board. The government was asked to form a commission which will be headed by the Minister of Transport. Thorough investigation of the causes of the crash will be carried out and everything will be done to support the families of those killed. A National Day of Mourning will be held in Russia on Monday. The flight originated in Moscow and stopped in Sochi to refuel. It disappeared from radar just two minutes after takeoff. It was headed to Latakia Air Base in Syria, where the Red Army Choir was due to perform a New Year's Eve concert. The crew would have flown all night and now uh, uh, took off, and uh, I would think that uh, possibly fatigue uh, would, uh, would make a, a play a major role uh, when the investigators look into it. Flight conditions were reportedly favorable, but the Topolov Tu-154, a Soviet-era aircraft, has a history of accidents. The model was retired in 2009. The aircraft entered service in 1972 and was modernized in 1986 with new engines and equipment to improve fuel consumption and flight operations. But the model has a relatively high accident rate, with 109 recorded incidents since it was released. An investigation into the cause of the crash is underway. More than 100 divers with special equipment from other navies will be additionally deployed to the crash area. More than 3,000 people will take part in a search and rescue operation. While those in mourning continue to wait for answers. Sarah Jones, TRT World.